Hi guys, this is Melissa Zad for Into Boxing and I am delighted to be joined by Shiloh De Freitas. Did I say that? Sugar Shine. <laughs> Sugar Shine. Sugar Shine. <laughs> I like it. How did you come up with that? What, the nickname? Yeah. Um, when I was young, one of my amateur coaches, uh, they said they reminded me of Sugar, so I just always ran with it. I just liked it. Why did you remind them of Sugar? No, not sh- no, oh, just, Sugar. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sugar Ray. Yeah, Sugar Ray. I was like, Sugar, the, the food product or the boxer? Um, so, let's talk a little bit about the fact that in the press conference, it was mentioned that you've obviously come up the hard route, started at York Hall, small hall shows. Um, how do you think that puts you... What kind of stead do you think that puts you in for events like this, occasions like this? Um, from the amateur days, I've been all around the world. I've had loads of amateur experience. So, for me, um, it's just a venue starting at your Hall. It, it didn't really change much. Sometimes... Not everything is what it seems, you know. Um, your call, there's nothing wrong with your call. I feel like a lot of the great boxers have all boxed at your call. So if, if, if everyone would like to think that's the harder way, I, I think I've done it. I'm, I feel like a lot, of amateur, uh, a lot of professionals, they like to rush too much. And I just feel like I'm trying to make long term though. So just doing it steady, taking my time and enjoying the show. What do you think it is about um, kind of the small hall experience that, you know, gives you or adds to your ring generalship and how you navigate the the ring experience? Um, Say that again. So, So for example, you mentioned that lots of professionals like to rush through their career and get to the big stages really, really quickly. You know, what benefits does going the small hall route give you over them? Um, with the small hall route, listen, whatever route works for anyone, I'm happy for everyone. So, but I found that um, just taking my time, just building into it, and I find that your call, I find that fighting at your call, it wasn't so small, it wasn't like, you know what I mean? So, I was happy, I was happy with the way it played out, and I'm happy with the way it's working itself out, to be honest. Obviously, you know, amateur boxing and professional boxing are like two different sports, right? Not really. Well, I mean, it's really, it is. It is, but it's very, very different. You know, in the amateurs, you kind of, it's point scoring. It's a very different set of rules for how you're scoring those fights. Um, and obviously the pros, you know, you're wearing smaller gloves, you're doing it differently. There's the lights, the camera, the action, all of that stuff is going to add to the overall experience. From your experience between the amateurs and pros, I mean, you sort of answer the question by saying, not really a fight to fight, but what are the big differences for you? Um, I've found that you've got to sell some tickets. Uh, it's, not, it's not just a fight. There's a lot more behind the scenes, like these interviews. So um, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I always felt like more rounds suited me. I feel like taking my time, doing the rounds, putting on the smaller gloves, sinking into the shots, sinking into the body. I've always found that that was a bit more of me than the point scoring. But towards the end of my amateur career, it was a bit more sinking in deep anyway. You know what I mean? They've kind of changed up the amateur scenery now. So, yeah, I'm just enjoying the show. You seem very relaxed, which is great to see, um, you know, at this point of the press week. You know, how important is it for you to stay relaxed and keep that sort of, like, calm headspace going into a fight? I feel like you can't, from experience, you can't fight on emotion, no matter what happens. You can't fight angry, you can't fight on that agitated. But I feel I feel happy, I'm not starving, I've made weight good, and I feel like, yeah, you've got to keep calm. Because if you don't keep calm and you're fighting too much on nerves and... I mean, you're underperforming. I'm all about performances and making people understand that despite being on small hall shows, I'm a serious man in that ring and I'm here to hurt people. Sugar shy. Sugar shy. (laughs) So, sugar shy, what performance can we expect to see from you on Saturday night? I feel... mm, If I could look into the future, I feel very very spiteful. So I feel like putting on a dominant, spiteful performance... If, if, if I can hurt him, I'm going to hurt him. And I plan to hurt him. So that's what you can expect to see. A lot of pain. That's the kind of boxing we love to watch. Yes, um, it's the hurt sport. It's <laughs> Shiloh, thank you so much for your time. We can't wait to see you in the ring on Saturday night. Yeah, thank you, man. God bless. Yeah, best of luck for yeah. tomorrow. The way.